content creator the things that i did that you should not do if you want to succeed and grow on this platform You can't help who your parents are, your neighborhood that you grew up in. Like life will be hard sometimes. Well, here is the plant. I'm getting microblading for my eyebrows. Sephora, whatever girl. The support might be low. That's fine. One thing about it is you will survive. I wanna run away. Okay, hey sister girl. I don't think I showed you guys the plant that I got from Home Depot. Um, I don't even have a place for her because the Christmas tree is still up and I don't have the energy to take the Christmas tree down right now. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know when I'm gonna have the energy to take it down, but it's not gonna stop the progress, okay? I said I wanted to be a plant mom, but I tend to do the things that I wanna do. <laughs> so this week, no, next week is Valentine's Day. This week is like my my week before my birthday, so I'm super excited. Yay me. <laughs> All my plans have been canceled because of the weather. We have 12 months to celebrate, so I'm not even worried or tripping over that. But while I, I think I'm gonna have this conversation while I'm doing my makeup, but I wanna talk briefly about failing on YouTube, okay? I have been on YouTube since November, 2020. And the reason I joined YouTube, not, I mean, one, obviously to me, I feel like I have a lot to offer. Um, a lot of inspiration for women or young girls with my background, very abusive, dark background, <laughs> okay? And I kind of just wanted to be like a beacon of hope for them just to show them like life can be hard. I'm not gonna deny you that. Life will be hard sometimes, right? And sometimes, most of the time, it's outside of your control. Like you can't help where you were born into. You can't help who your parents are, your neighborhood that you grew up in. Like you were powerless literally up until you became an adult. And so that really wasn't a lot of time for you to create the life that you want, deserve, or desire. We know for a fact that our formative years, our youth, our young years, are the foundation for the life that we live. I am just so grateful that God saw it fit to allow me to live or have a path that literally is not defined by my past, okay? And so I really wanted other people, other women specifically, young women, um, or you know older women to know that it doesn't matter where you come from It doesn't matter who is connected to you. It doesn't matter what resources you have what opportunities you had None of it matters if you put your trust and your faith in God One thing about God is he never ever fails. Okay, so I started that channel just to kind of show other people other women look I came from the most poorest, <laughs> humbling background to say the least. And I'm not, you know, rich yet or anything, but the struggle is real out there. Like the whole world outside of us live off of like $2 a day, if we're honest. And, you know, and that's why I wanted to be a missionary. I wanted to be a missionary nurse. So I kind of like carved my world, my path to just always being available to help people. But look, obviously God had a different plan. Okay, I'm not mad, <laughs> I'm not mad. Um, I'm just very surprised. And so, you know, anything that I do, so when I decided to be an attorney, even after that, I was like, okay, well now I can focus on finally helping people. Not that I'm not helping people as an attorney, the help looks different than I had imagined for myself. Like the passion is deep. And so I figured in this platform, this is the perfect way for me to segue and kind of like build the life that I dream in addition to the life that I was given. So that's what I did. I started YouTube and honestly, I'm very disappointed with how my channel has like just the lack of growth, the lack of impact that my channel has had. My intention was to make an impact in the life of others. And I don't think I've been doing that with my channel. You know, YouTube, the way the system is created or the way the platform is created, you got to put out content. I have not been doing that consistently. I want to do better with YouTube. I actually, I want to grow with YouTube. However, I 
I just don't know where to go from here. Okay, here are the few mistakes that I've made that if you are a uh, small content creator, if you aspire to be a content creator, the things that I did that you should not do if you want to succeed and grow on this platform. One, I over invested. Um, even though I did it as a hobby, I just went in way too hard. I bought things that I didn't need to buy. Like girl, I have two cameras, I have lights, I have backdrops, I have tools, I have software, anything and everything that you could possibly need for YouTube, I have it. So when my channel does pick up and I believe it will eventually pick up and it will do well there will be nothing that I will need ever <laughs> so I don't recommend that you do that so I definitely over invested the other thing that I did is I started or I was putting out content that I wanted to put out I wasn't focused on the target audience that I was looking for I'm not saying to pick a niche I don't think you should pick a niche early on even though I've been on YouTube for three plus years I still don't have a niche and so I want to share my life my world with you I can't limit it to just one door or one room and so I personally don't want to niche down I've kind of narrowed down to the audience that I want and so I tend to focus my content on that however going back to like my second point even though I narrowed down the audience I was putting out content that I wanted to watch or things that I was interested in like okay well you know you guys are coming to me you're coming to my channel but I'm not really paying attention to your needs or what you want because you literally could watch anyone and I'm sure you are watching anyone else you got to walk away with something there has to be some value on the table for you so that you know that I am on your side like I'm here for you it's a reciprocal thing so that's where I messed up right and the third thing I think is again the consistency I think because I am all over the place <laughs> kind of even with my life I'm kind of all over the place and that's not a bad thing like if you don't know this about me I own multiple businesses with my brothers and obviously I have my personal brand YouTube and I have my nine to five so it's a lot on my plate and so I was putting out content based on when I had the energy, like when I could. But when the engagement is low, the views are low, the subscribers are low, anyone in any position, whether you're in school, like if you feel like you're putting in the work, but for some reason you're not passing your classes, you're not passing your tests, it's almost like you want to give up. Like, why are you doing this? And so I'm here to motivate you. If you're going through it, hang in there, okay? The scores might be low, the support might be low, that's fine one thing about it is you will survive through you will get through you will make it on the other side but yeah i'm gonna keep going i'm just really bummed i just wish there was something i could do i just wish i knew what to do to kind of come out of this because i don't know how else to get my content out there i don't know how else to push i don't know how else to one thing i won't do is give up right i might put out less content just to kind of regroup just to kind of hit the reset button just to kind of not you know let the numbers completely <laughs> completely take me out girl but it's a lot of rambling i'm doing hopefully you guys get it i just wanted to like share that with you again if you're interested in starting youtube don't do what i did okay okay girl here is the plant and this is her monstera it's a house plant medium light again like i was saying it's really low maintenance at least for me um i'm just so excited okay girl yes so this is the plant so here's the pot okay it's so pretty i don't know how much was this it was 16.99 so 17 dollars. it's a nice size really nice size and it has like a base but i feel like yeah, I think let me see so here's the pot and the plant and the whole shebang I think I'm gonna put it right here that way it can get Sun I'm either gonna call her ebony or in London ebony is definitely growing on me okay sister girl we're gonna make a drink but before we do I don't think I told you guys if my camera died last night while I was doing my grocery haul so there's a lot of things that I didn't get to share with you which is fine we'll do another haul trust me we are always buying food always buying groceries over here um, but I just wanted to let you know what happened I got some eucalyptics from Trader Joe's so I'm gonna 
put them in water right now. I don't want to cut them. Oh, this is like everything. Isn't this pretty? So pretty. I think I'm going to use this to put a couple in my beauty room. I think I like this instead. I like these three branches and then we'll put the rest Hey, sister girl, welcome back to my channel. You guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, so I'm a little behind on my billing, <laughs> to say the least. Yesterday, I went to a event for my firm. Um, it was a recruiting event, uh, like a job fair at a law school. And um, I really enjoyed it so much. I didn't take you guys with me because, you know, for obvious reasons. And so I'm a little behind on my billing. So I gotta get caught up today you guys so my birthday maintenance starts today okay and what that includes is I'm getting microblading for my eyebrows later today tomorrow um, I'm getting my nails done and then I'm getting my hair done and this weekend I would like to get like a massage or a facial but we'll see because I already committed to doing like a birthday thing with a friend and I'm going to Truth Friday night. So Saturday, girl, we were sleeping in. I canceled my birthday plans. You guys would have known what those are. Maybe you wouldn't have because I don't know if I put out any vlog discussing my birthday, but initially I had rented a yacht. Yes, girl, I did. And I um, booked a, 
a hotel stay, like a two day hotel stay after the yacht at the East Miami. But girl, <laughs> it's going to be cold, okay? I checked the weather, it's going to be cold. South Florida has been tripping, okay? Now, I know a lot of people love this little cool weather. It's a change, but I don't like it, especially around this time because it's my birthday. But I'm super excited. So happy actually, um, I don't know. I guess, you know, you get a certain age and you like don't wanna get older, but like for me, <laughs> it's such a privilege, okay? Because I grew up really rough. So now that I'm older and I'm able to like make a life for myself, a living for myself, and it's one that I like and enjoy, I'm just super, super grateful. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to come on here, just say hey to you guys, just, you know, See how y'all doing and i will be taking you guys with me uh the other thing is i need to dye the hair that i'm like using to do my hair tomorrow i reached out to the stylist this morning and uh <laughs> she don't have time so i either have to do it myself tonight or i'm gonna be stuck with like one the color one I'm just gonna be stuck. Um, I am babysitting tonight, so I can't wait to see my nieces and nephews. Hopefully my uh, eldest niece or oldest niece will be able to come and we can just have a good old party, good old time, honey. Uh, one thing I'm not gonna do is cancel my date with my nieces and nephews for my hair. That's not what I'm gonna do. So, I mean, if I don't get it colored, I don't get it colored, but I would love to. I have to get to work, girl. She waiting for me, she waiting. This is carrot, apple, ginger, the usual, okay? My absolute favorite. Actually, I do have a, a little unboxing for you guys. So remember I went to Sephora, I think last weekend or last week, and um, I was able to redeem my certificate from the Sephora VIP haul for the free fragrance, you guys. It's a joke, okay? First of all, it's a one ounce. I've never owned or do not own any one ounce fragrances. You guys will see the one that I actually got. I don't think I shared with you guys which fragrance that I picked, but girl, I broke the whole pen, honey. Dang. That was one of my favorite pens. Dang. The struggle. I didn't get a box opener. Um, Yes, you will see the one that I picked. So I think the option was like, these big old boxes for like literally nothing. So I ended up picking <laughs> Valentino Born in Roma, okay? Um, this is the one ounce. The box looks like this. I'm gonna open it for you guys. Don't mind my nails. Well, I took out the nails and I have one left and she's struggling. She is struggling out here in these streets. Um, I tried soaking it, but I got to get it out before tomorrow because my nail appointment is tomorrow. I mean, it's adorable, but it's so small. It is so tiny. I feel disrespected on every level by Sephora. And now it smells amazing. I don't think I have any fragrance on. Oh gosh. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I just think Sephora tried it for giving us a one ounce. Sephora, whatever, girl. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is check my to-do list on my iPad, girl. Ooh, smells amazing. And get to work before I have to leave for my uh, first appointment of the day. But um, yes, you guys, I love you guys. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. But yeah, girl. Hey, sister girl. Okay, I'm getting ready to go get my eyebrows microbladed. So here is the hair that I dyed last night. So it was the color. We are back from getting our nails done. Getting ready to go and get my hair done. In the book, I don't give up someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it.